he was called the People's Painter. And so it's only fitting that the opening of the Special Exhibitions Gallery at the North Carolina Museum of Art premieres with American Chronicles, The Art of Norman Rockwell. Rob Holiday has a preview of what promises to be a huge event at the museum. There's a small signature in the corner of the frame just in case, but chances are most visitors know the artist behind this collection at first sight. It was the work of Norman Rockwell that you saw on your coffee tables and uh, in your libraries that uh, captured moments of shared experiences. Even in the evolving 21st century, Rockwell's work still draws a crowd. Nearly 400 of his creations are on display at the North Carolina Museum of Art in Raleigh. I think they are absolutely fantastic. I've never seen so many of his works in one place before. It covers from the 19-teens to the 1960s. And covers those decades with covers, actually. More than 300 of them from the Saturday Evening Post. It was on the front page of the Post that Rockwell formed his following. They were reassuring about people's lives. They comforted. They were amusing. He was relentlessly amusing. Decades after they left the newsstand, some of those images are still ingrained in the memories of Rockwell's fans. I've always loved the mermaid. It's the one where the old lobsterman has caught a mermaid in his lobster trap. It's really fun to see this all together. The Rockwell collection not only showcases the Saturday Evening Post covers, but also many of the images they're derived from. It's delightful to see these these paintings that we've seen prints of all our lives to see the actual original painting. One of the most famous is Rockwell's triple self-portrait. The artist paints a portrait of himself painting a portrait of himself. He's got a very uh, funny, slightly off-centered uh, sense of humor that um, is, is really quite refreshing. And shows up in all sorts of his work, including this image of a young art critic in a museum a young man examining a very small portion of a, of a painting of a woman who is flirting with him, who appears to be flirting with him uh, in such a indelicate way that the gentlemen in the neighboring painting are offended. Even when he wasn't trying to get a laugh, Norman Rockwell was still doing more than just creating an image. What a storyteller just using the visual media to tell a story. That's what everybody, I feel, I look at the paintings and I feel like I'm supposed to be all serious and think about art, but you can't help chuckling at the story that he tells. That's what he's so good at. Like the boy who discovers that his father is, is Santa Claus, it's, it's amusing on one level, and at the same time, uh, it's a tragedy for the kid. And Rockwell, was able to balance those two perspectives in, in the same image. He also excelled at showcasing an ideal version of American life, from Thanksgiving turkey to summer swimming, and plenty of patriotic occasions in between. After he left the Saturday Evening Post, Rockwell's images changed dramatically as he began to paint the injustices that he saw during America's civil rights movement. These are paintings where Rockwell is actually angry. And that's a little unsettling for, for people who are used to uh, Rockwell as a, as a very warm, you know, comfortable companion. And what we're trying to do is to complicate the man um, and to make him uh, far more interesting than just uh, an aw shucks image maker. During his career and in the years after his death, Norman Rockwell was dismissed by many critics. An illustrator, yes. A serious artist, no. But that's been starting to change in recent years. I'm sure there are going to be many people that will you know, say he's just an illustrator and they're going to, to move on. But I would invite people to, to look at the paintings as paintings, as um, the work of a very interesting, complicated man, and how he has chosen to deal with his life and the 20th century. Timed tickets for American Chronicles, The Art of Norman Rockwell, are on sale now. Purchase tickets online at ncmuseumofart.org or by phone at 919-715-5923 or in person at the Museum Box Office in East Building. The Norman Rockwell exhibit runs through January 30, 2011. The museum is closed on Mondays. 
podcasts on unctv.org are made possible through the financial contributions of viewers like you, who invite you to join them in supporting UNCTV.